only reason why Thailand, Vietnam, and many of these countries have been able to go the way they are is because they get to a point where they have no choice. Are we in Nigeria at the point where we have no choice? The answer is yes. We have no choice. And it is inevitable that we must make we must make this transition very quickly and efficiently. So again, thank you again, Mr. Governor. I think I've raised these issues because we are totally committed to this project. This is a very critical document for us. Because we just must diversify the economy of the state. And we are just too blessed not to take advantage of our endowments. It would just be catastrophic for us. So the entire aspects of government must work for this too. So this plan is not just a plan for an agency. It's a plan for us as a government. So the execution at least on through this government this office will be something we will focus on and to make happen. It all has to time. Um, so I want to thank the team that has put this together and to say that this is just the beginning of a process and each agency of government must contribute because you can't, we can't finalize a plan, we can't execute if you do not know what the other, that other agency is doing and put it in a plan and show it to those who are coming.